Today's weather is sponsored by McClintock Preferred Finishes, wholesale and supply store, with two locations, one in Paducah, Kentucky, and the other in Evansville, Indiana. Good morning, I'm meteorologist Bo Dotson. It's about 3.30 in the morning on March 1st, 2017, and look at these temperatures, 72 degrees in Paducah, Kentucky, 70s up and down the area, so Illinois, West Kentucky, Southeast Missouri, Northwest Tennessee. Amazing weather that we've been having this winter and we finally paid the price for it. We knew it was going to happen. Severe weather, you can't have warm temperatures like this all winter and not have something happen. We take a look at dew points, dew points into the 60s. That's more than sufficient for additional severe weather as we move through the next few hours. We take a look at winds right now. 30 to 40 mile per hour winds are being reported across the area. This is because of the tight pressure gradient, low pressure, high pressure, causing these what we call gradient winds and those are non-thunderstorm winds. Let's turn all that off and let's take a look at radar. We have a line of showers and thunderstorms coming into in the area. Some of this is weakened a little bit. There are still warnings in effect. We'll just have to see what happens over the next few hours. The atmosphere is unstable, so we could still have some severe weather. We'll put this in motion. You can see the storms coming out of western Missouri racing along here at about 40, 50 miles per hour. Some of these storms coming out of Arkansas, merging with some of these over southern, southern Missouri. We'll have to keep an eye on that. Sometimes that can cause additional problems. We are starting to have severe thunderstorm warnings in parts of the area. That's the red boxes here that you see popping up and dissipating. Weather Service out of Paducah, Kentucky, done a great job tonight with the tornado warnings and all the severe weather. Local media, local media has done a good job as well. We will have more severe weather as we move over the next few hours. Tornado watch just been issued for almost the entire area, if not the entire area. That'll last till about 8 o'clock. We may have additional watches issued for our eastern counties as we move through the morning. The bottom line for the next, well, let's say, three to four hours, we got to get this line of thunderstorms through here. Once this line is through, we're done. We won't have any more severe weather today. We just have to get through the next few hours. Damaging winds. Some reports of hail possible, and we may have some embedded tornadoes as the squall line moves through. Oftentimes what happens, we have QLCS tornadoes, different than the supercell tornadoes we had earlier today. QLCS tornadoes tend to be embedded within the rain at the leading edge of these stronger thunderstorms where you see bowing echoes. Sometimes when you have mergers, you can get short-lived tornadoes, short-lived or not, tornadoes a tornado and can cause damage. Monitor updates over the coming hours. Leave your weather radio on. If damaging winds are reported or a tornado warning is issued, I will send out a text message. Once we get past 5 or 6 in the morning, I'll send out a few more messages.